Toto Wolf is going all in on Max Verstappen. It has been said that the amount of money he is ready to offer the Dutchman will make Lewis Hamilton's contract look like peanuts. Rumors swirl around the Silver Arrows bolt strategy, eyeing Verstappen amid speculation of his potential departure from Red Bull. Adrian Newey's rumored exit from Red Bull has stirred uncertainty around Max Verstappen's future with the reigning champions. Although Verstappen is contracted until 2028, speculation suggests he might consider an early out if Red Bull can't resolve their internal turmoil. Mercedes' admiration for Verstappen has reached epic proportions, with reports indicating they're ready to go all-in to secure his services. Sources suggest a world-record contract could be on the table, offering Verstappen an eye-popping £128 million per season. That would make him the fourth-highest-paid athlete in any sport per year, just under footballers Cristiano Ronaldo, Karim Benzema, and Lionel Messi. The next two athletes under him, boxer Canelo Alvarez and baseball superstar Shohei Otani, who recently signed a massive $700 million deal with the Los Angeles Dodgers, make less than half per annum. Such a deal would not only double Verstappen's current Red Bull earnings, but also catapult him to the pinnacle of F1's financial hierarchy. At £128 million annually, the 26-year-old would dwarf Hamilton's reported £43.6 million base salary at Ferrari, showcasing a seismic shift in the sport's wage landscape. Not only that, Mercedes is rumored to be eyeing a strategic move by enticing Helmut Marko to their side, aiming to bolster Verstappen's transition. Speculation suggests Verstappen's contract includes a clause enabling an early exit if Marko, a key figure at Red Bull, leaves the team. Reports suggest that Mercedes and Verstappen are set to meet during the upcoming Miami Grand Prix weekend. The stakes are high as Mercedes aims to lure Verstappen away from Red Bull. Toto Wolff's keen interest in Verstappen has been evident, with the Mercedes team boss not being shy about his desire to secure the Dutch driver's signature in recent weeks. He let out a barrage of statements carefully crafted to sway the Dutchman over to his side, but one that stood out was when he tried a little bit of reverse psychology, saying, Maybe there is more depth to other people who consider other factors too, and I think Max has that depth. In that respect, are we going to convince him? I don't think it's a matter of convincing. I think Max knows motor racing better than anyone, and he will take decisions that he feels are good for him, and I think a few factors play a role, but he's the one that's going to trigger some more domino stones to fall afterwards. Everybody's waiting for what he's going to be doing. If I was Max, I would stay at Red Bull for 2025, but I'm not Max. It is the quickest car, but there are other factors. Little does he know how wrong he is about that last bit. As an informal reply to Toto's continuous public courting, Helmut Marko has come out and said that Max Verstappen's top priority is to have the best car. Speaking to Austrian publication OE24, longtime Red Bull advisor Marko emphasized that Verstappen's primary motivation is to drive the fastest car. He said, He always wants to be in the fastest car. And Max and the Red Bull? That's an unbeatable combination. But if you put Max in a Ferrari, things would look different. The 20 seconds that he is ahead of Checo corresponds to his driving superiority. Max will drive where he has the best car, and he has that at Red Bull. Nothing else is on the horizon. Marco's comments follow Max Verstappen's own statement, where he stressed the importance of a calm and peaceful environment for his future at Red Bull, especially in light of recent turbulence within the reigning constructors' champions. Verstappen shared this sentiment with Dutch outlet De Telegraaf, saying, What's very important for me is that it is calm in the team, that everyone focuses on the car and performance. I also feel now that it is calmer than at the beginning of the season. After my first world title in 2021, I signed a long deal with Red Bull for a reason. All I want is a calm and peaceful environment. As long as I am happy with the team, there is no reason to leave. Max Verstappen has kicked off his 2024 F1 title defense in spectacular fashion, clinching victory in four out of the first five races and securing a commanding lead in the driver's standings. Despite off-track turbulence surrounding Red Bull, including doubts about the team's stability and Verstappen's future, the on-track performance with 3-1-2 finishes alongside teammate Sergio Perez has showcased Red Bull's enduring strength. Toto Wolff acknowledged that taking care of Mercedes' challenges with a W15 car comes first, as Verstappen is likely to be swayed by on-track results. I'd love to have him, but first we need to sort out our car, Wolff said. First, we owe it to George and Lewis to improve the car and give them equipment that is good before dreaming about the future next year. Like I said before, a driver will always try to be in the fastest possible car. That gives you the best chances of winning races and championships, and this is where Max is at the moment. But Max, 
Yoss and Max and Raymond are also people who are very straight, sometimes uncomfortably straight, and I think that's something they will make up their mind on. But I think fundamentally, a racing driver is calibrated to be in the best car. Let's word it like this. I think this is a decision that Max needs to take, but there is no team up and down the grid that wouldn't do handstands to have him in the car. In other news, the revelation that Adrian Newey is looking to part ways with Red Bull has reportedly dealt a huge blow to Christian Horner. Rumors suggest that Newey's desire to leave stems from growing dissatisfaction with the internal dynamics at Red Bull during this season. The ongoing saga involving Christian Horner appears to have influenced Adrian Newey's decision to seek an exit. Earlier this year, Horner faced allegations of misconduct from a female colleague, although he was subsequently cleared of any wrongdoing and maintains his denial of the claims. Red Bull has stated that they have not been formally notified of Adrian Newey's intention to depart before his contract concludes at the end of 2025. Reports suggest that Newey is optimistic about negotiating an early exit, enabling him to join another team starting from next season. According to the Daily Mail, the news of Adrian Newey's impending departure from Red Bull came as a significant shock to Christian Horner, described as a serious jolt and a body blow. The report further suggests that Horner's position as team principal is intertwined with Newey's employment, implying that Horner's job security could be jeopardized when Newey eventually leaves. Adrian Newey is widely regarded as one of the greatest technical geniuses in Formula 1 history, having crafted Red Bull's cars since his arrival in 2005. His expertise has been pivotal in molding Red Bull's recent dominance, especially in navigating and excelling through the regulation changes introduced in 2022. If the unthinkable happens and Adrian Newey says goodbye to Red Bull, ex-Ferrari engineer Ernest Norris speculates that he might just walk away with all of Red Bull's grand effect aerodynamic wizardry. The problem? Norris suggests Newey, being the maestro of grand effect aerodynamics, might not have a gardening leave clause in his contract to hold him back. Reports suggest that Aston Martin and Ferrari are both vying for Adrian Newey with hefty offers, while Damon Hill sees McLaren as a rising contender for his talents. But the snack for any team eyeing Newey is the potential 6-18 to 18 month layoff during gardening leave. Yet Norris speculates that Newey, with his exceptional skill and likely high price tag, might have sidestepped this clause in his contract. It is not something that is easy to avoid, Norris told Racing News 365. Certainly for the lesser gods like in my case, you have little power in your contract when you sign with a team to say, I don't accept that gardening leave period. So for the lesser people, it is much more restrictive. For a top designer like Newey, I can imagine that he may have stipulated when he was appointed to Red Bull that he does not want a gardening leave, that he wants to be able to decide for himself when he will start working again. You can always contest it, and I did that in my case. It is a bit of a strange clause in employment contracts. You are actually prevented from doing your work, and there are all kinds of general rules, including in European law, where you have the opportunity to turn it into a lawsuit. What do you think? Does Max Verstappen deserve that kind of money? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell for the hottest F1 news.